Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. We are still following breaking news from East Lansing, where a mass shooting took place on Michigan State's campus. Now, the first report of the shooting was at 8.30 p.m. in Berkey Hall. While police were responding to that call, another shooting was reported inside the MSU Union building. Three people were killed and five others injured. All of the victims are MSU students. The shooter, 43-year-old Anthony McCray, was found inside a Lansing residence dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. MSU police say that a note was found on the suspect. Police say the note threatened two schools in Ewing, New Jersey, where he had ties. Now, police say McCray has not resided there for several years and had a history of mental health illness. Well, as repairs continue on Bay City's Lafayette Street Bridge, businesses that depend on the cars that use it say the temporary closure well, has proven costly. The bridge closed January 3rd for repairs to tide the structure over until a full reconstruction begins in 2024. Process projected to take about two years to complete. The current work is expected to wrap up a week from Friday. Well, still unfolding, police in Saginaw have yet to release details of what brought their heavy presence Monday afternoon on Congress near Rosemary, not far from Mackinac Street. Police only have said they were actively investigating an incident in the area, but would not confirm any details. Now here's Matthew with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Colette, for this Valentine's Day. Pretty warm. We're up to 51 for this afternoon. We are expecting dry weather through the remainder of the afternoon as well. It's not until around 7 to 8 p.m. where we see some light scattered rain moving into the area, but this will just be on and off and on the lighter side, so not a complete washout like late last week and even into Wednesday morning. Some of the scattered rain still remaining before drying out by your Wednesday afternoon. Rainfall totals only around a tenth to two tenths of an inch, the highest total into our northern counties. More importantly, those with this rain moving in, the wind gusts will be picking up as well. So tonight and tomorrow we have a first alert weather day, and that is the potential for gusts up to 45 to 50 miles per hour. So that is strong enough to cause some tree damage on Wednesday and possibly even a few isolated power outages as well. But those wind gusts will be the strongest right in the middle of your Wednesday from around 10 a.m. towards 3 or 4 p.m. And by dinner time and especially into the Wednesday night time frame, those wind gusts will slow back down substantially. 70 forecast is cooler on Thursday, 35. Thursday also holds a better chance for some accumulating snowfall, especially up north. Friday, even colder, 26 degrees. But by the weekend, we're drying back out and warm back up with a return mostly to the 40s. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.